In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do step by step to troubleshoot and fix that water softener for your family. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. Has your water softener stopped using salt, or maybe it's using far more salt than normal? Maybe water from your water softener keeps running to the drain. Has it stopped softening your water altogether? Where do you even start to troubleshoot this thing? I'm gonna share my expert water softener troubleshooting repair trips so you can fix your water softener like a pro. Tip number one, do you know how your water softener works? You can't fix something unless you know how it works or at least how it's supposed to work. If you don't know, check out this video of mine before you go any further. I'll put a link in the description down below. Tip number two, test your water's hardness before and after the water softener. You'll need to test both the hot and the cold water after the water softener. The water after your water softener should have a hardness of zero or one. If your water before your water softener has a hardness of 10 or 12 or whatever, and the hardness after the water softener is the same, that tells you that your water softener isn't working at all. However, the, if the hardness is different between the cold and the hot water, that tells us that likely you're running out of capacity early. And if you're not sure how to test your water for hardness, I've got a great YouTube video that shows you how. Put a link in the description down below. So next you need to check your settings to make sure they're correct. This video shows you how to determine the hardness settings based on your water test results. Again, I'll put a link in the description down below. And if you're looking for those hardness test strips, you can order them from our website. Again, I'll put a link in the description down below. Tip number three, before digging too deep, check some obvious things. First of all, do you have a three-layer bypass that was left open? What do I mean? Again, check this YouTube video of mine to learn more about three-way bypasses. But basically, this is a three-way bypass. You can see the arrow going down, that's the water going in. You can see the arrow going back up, that's the water going out. And you can see in between those two, there's a valve that's shut off. So what will happen sometimes when you have service done, unfortunately, usually by a plumber, is they'll come in, they'll shut off the water, so they'll close all three of those orange valves. And then when they're done doing the service, they'll open the inlet valve, the outlet valve, and yeah, you guessed it, they'll very often open the bypass valve too, and then you won't have any soft water. So definitely, if you got a three-way bypass, check that out. Next, check that you have enough salt in the brine tank. Typically, if you have a post-fill water softener, the salt level should be higher than the water level, but there should be water in there. If yours is a pre-fill water softener, the salt in there should be about half full. And for more info about the salt level, here's a great video about how much salt should be in your water softener based on your household. And if you're not sure how to tell if yours is a pre or post-fill water softener, check out this video. Again, link in the description down below. Tip number four, check some basic maintenance items next. Has the water softener been using about the same amount of salt recently as it always did? If it's using more than usual, then you might have a toilet or some other water item using running. Keep in mind, the more water that runs through your water softener, the more salt you'll use. Modern meter water softeners like our Hume water softeners will show you when water's being used in your home. To test it, make sure no one in your home is using any water. Check the display to see if the water softener senses any flow. If it does, you've got a leak somewhere and need to find and fix it. If your water softener is using far less salt than usual, then you might have a salt clog. And this video shows you how to fix that. You're right, link in the description down below. Tip number five, the media inside the water softener can become compromised if you've been running your water softener without salt, with a salt clog or using it to remove excess amounts of iron and manganese from your water. If that's the case, you'll need to do a deep cleaning of the media by using a product like ResCare. And of course, this video shows you how you're right, link in the description down below. The brine tank should also be cleaned out periodically. If yours hasn't been, now would be a great time to make sure the bottom of yours isn't filled with dirt. This video shows you how. Tip number six, all of a sudden, if there's far more water in the brine tank than usual, you could have a clogged injector or compromised pistons. This video shows you how to troubleshoot and repair that concern. Usually when that happens, the injector is clogged and you just need to clean or replace that injector. And I've got a great YouTube video that shows you how. Tip number seven, has the meter stopped working? If the meter no longer measures how much water you're using, it won't tell your water softener when to regenerate. If you have a blank display on your water softener, the meter definitely won't be working. This video will show you how to fix that. But if the display is lit up and you run some water through the water softener, but the display shows no flow, you'll need the advice from this video to get that fixed. Again, link in the description down below. You guessed it, tip number eight. If you've noticed that the water flow in your home has slowly become worse, it might mean that your water softener meter
intermediate is partially clogged and restricting your water flow. You can quickly check it out by bypassing the water softener and then following the advice from this video. Tip number nine, does the water from your water softener stink like garbage? You'll need to disinfect the media by following the process outlined in this video link down below. Tip number 10. Does your softened water suddenly taste salty? This video outlines how you can troubleshoot and fix that for your family. Tip number 11. We sometimes get concerns about the water feeling slimy after regeneration. This video will help you troubleshoot that one too and offer some great solutions for your family. Tip number 12. Do you hear water running to the drain when the water softener is in service? or it keeps going into error code whenever it goes through a regeneration cycle, the valve needs to be rebuilt, which if you have one of our Hume or any clock valve water softener, isn't at all as difficult as it sounds. This video goes through the whole process in detail. Tip number lucky 13, if your water softener uses salt, goes through its cycles correctly, but still doesn't give you soft water, the media needs to be replaced. Check out this video to learn about that whole process. And if it's time to replace that water softener for your family, I definitely encourage you to check out our websites, watereastore.com in the US, watereastore.ca in Canada. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. Click here for your next video on water softener troubleshooting, and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, add them down below.